welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet the classic yo-yo puff and also how to connect them together. If you love all things crochet and are passionate about the craft, then you have definitely come to the right place. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my future crochet videos. Now the yo-yo puff motif is very quick to make and is excellent for stash busting purposes because it uses these lovely long tall stitches. So if you're looking for a scrap project, this little yo-yo puff is perfect. All right, let's leap straight into how you crochet the yo-yo puff. To start your yo-yo puff, you're going to pop a slip knot onto your hook and then chain five. Then pop your hook into that very first chain you made to join with a slip stitch. Now you've formed a little central ring here where I'm sticking my finger through. That is where we're going to place all of our stitches for the first round. I'm also going to hold my tail against this chain loop and crochet over it as I go. So for the first round, you're going to go ahead and chain five. Now that chain five counts as our very first double treble stitch. Now I'm using American terms and to do a double treble stitch, you yarn over three times before even starting the stitch. So you'll have four loops on your hook. Then go into that central ring that you just created and pull up a loop. You'll have five loops on your hook. Then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through the final two. This creates your very tall double treble stitch. I'll show you one more time. Yarn over three times. So you've got four loops on your hook, then pull up a loop. You have five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two all the way to the top of the stitch. Now we need 17 double treble stitches in total, all worked into this central ring. Now you will start to run out of space as you go around, but that's fine. You can simply slide your stitches around to create a bit more room. So I've got two and I need 15 more of them. So go ahead and crochet a total of 17 double treble stitches into this little space here to complete this round. So that is my 17th double treble stitch of the round. Just take a moment now to double check you have 17 stitches, then this chain five would be number 18. So you'll have 18 stitches in total. Once you're happy, you have the right amount of stitches. We're going to go ahead and slip stitch to the top of this initial chain five just here. Now, if you have been crocheting over your tail as I have, so the tail of the beginning of my work is tucked under these stitches, you can go ahead and pull that to slightly close up this central ring to make everything a bit tighter and a bit neater.
Now for the second and final round of your yo-yo puff, chain three, and then working into the next stitch, we're going to place a treble crochet. Now US terms treble, so yarn over twice before going into the stitch. And pull up a loop, and just like before, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now that treble and this chain three count as your first treble two together. Now for the rest of the round, you'll find that the front of this yo-yo puff wants to curl in as mine is. So make sure you're pushing it forwards so it's more of a sort of a slight dome. Just that makes life a bit easier for you to work on. And we're going to be doing treble two together all the way around for this second and final round. So how you do that is yarn over twice, go into a stitch, pull up a loop, you'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then stop. So you have half a completed treble hanging from your hook. Then ignore that, yarn over twice, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and do the same again. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then stop. So you have two half completed treble stitches hanging from your hook with three loops in total on your hook. To finish your treble two together, yarn over and pull through all three of your remaining loops. So we're going to repeat this all the way round. I'll show you one more time, yarn over twice, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then stop, slide that along your hook, yarn over twice and go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then when you have three loops left on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Repeat this all the way around. You'll find your yo-yo puff starts to pull in on itself. But don't worry, that's supposed to happen. To finish the round, you've got your chain three and your treble stitch that you did right at the very beginning. Skip this chain three and you want to aim for the top of that first treble stitch. Pop your hook under there and place a slip stitch. Then chain one. And because I sew my yo-yo puffs together, leave yourself a generous tail snip it and then pull through that chain one loop and pull it tight. Tuck your little tail from the beginning of the round into your yo-yo puff or trim it if you prefer and then give your yo-yo puff a squish down. Now, when it comes to attaching your yo-yo puffs together, you have options. You can either do them offset from each other, as I have here, or you could attach them in line with each other 
So they were forming square rows if you prefer. I personally like doing them offset because all the yo-yo puffs are secured at six points, these ones in the middle, which makes it just a bit stronger than if you were only attaching at sort of four points. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I'm sure you understand what I mean. So to attach your yo-yo puffs, flip them over so you have the back of the work facing you. And with the puff that you just made, grab yourself a large eye needle. And you want to pop it under the loop of the next stitch on the row. Then run this yarn down through one of these stitches. It doesn't matter which one, just pop it down one of the stitches. Be careful, you don't want to pull it too tight and misshapen the back of your yo-yo puff, so be gentle. And then you can see here the front and the back. Just pop your needle through so it is coming out of the side of your yo-yo puff. Then to join it, simply line up your yo-yo puff, either if you're doing them in straight lines or as I am doing here, offset from each other. Line it up with its target. So I know I want to attach them at this point here. And then just run back and forth with a couple of stitches. Then if you want a bit of extra security, you can do a little knot. Then run your needle back down the center of one of these stitches. So it's now attached at that point. And I also want to attach it at this point too. So you can use this tail again. Or do I want to attach it to that one? Doesn't really matter which one I attach it to. Let's go for this one because there's more contrast. I'm just going to line it up again by eye so I know I want to join it at this sort of point. So I'm going to run my yarn through these stitches. back down the inside of another stitch to get back to that outside edge. Double check your placement before sewing. If you wanted to do the maths and work out how many stitches you could, but I tend to do these things by eye. I know I want to join to this point here. I'm just gonna pop my needle through there. And go ahead and repeat the same process of a few stitches and knotting it. Then run this back up to the center point. You can take your time and be a bit neater than I'm being here. Then you can either trim that tail or do what I do, which is wrap it up and leave it in the yo-yo puff. So you can use that to attach any subsequent puffs that you make. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully now you are well on your way to making your very own scrap-tastic yo-yo puff blankets or scarves. There's so many things you could use these big, fat, squishy puffs for. So definitely let me know down in the comments section, what would you use yo-yo puffs for? A scarf, a hot pad, a big fat blanket? Definitely let me know down in the comments. So until next time, happy yo-yo puff making. Bye.